Hey everyone! In today's video, we're diving into CSS at Property, a powerful feature that lets you create your own custom animatable CSS variables. It's an amazing way to take your web designs and animations to the next level. So if you love working with CSS animations, variables, and exploring modern CSS features, this video is definitely for you. Let's get started. Here, I have a box with a sky blue background color. In some projects, we might use this color many times, so to make things easier, I'll create a CSS variable inside the colon root called BG color. This lets me reuse the same color anywhere on the page using the var function. Whenever I change the variable's value, the box color updates automatically. That's how CSS variables make styling flexible and efficient. If you want to learn more about CSS variables, check out our video on that topic. CSS variables also support inheritance, which means their values can change inside parent elements. For example, if I set the color to dark pink in the root but change it to yellow in the body, the box turns yellow because the body is closer to the box element. This feature is powerful but can sometimes cause problems. If someone changes the variable's value from a color to something like 20 pixels, it becomes invalid for background color and breaks the style. But if you use the same variable for width, it works since the value is now a length unit. Since CSS variables don't check value types, invalid inputs can easily cause styling issues. The new at property feature in CSS is now supported by all major browsers. It's very easy to use. You start with the at property keyword, followed by the name of your custom property, which must begin with two hyphens, just like regular CSS variables. Then you define three things. Syntax, which tells what type of value the property accepts. Inherits, which decides whether the value is inherited from the parent element, true or false. And initial value, which sets the default value if nothing else is defined. That's the basic structure of the at property rule in CSS. When using CSS properties, we can declare variables with the at property rule. For example, I'll create a variable called BG color to store the default color setting. The syntax defines what type of value the property accepts. Using an asterisk means it accepts any value. The inherits option is set to true by default, allowing the value to be inherited. Finally, for the initial value, I'll use a hex color code. It works, but in CSS it appears red by default, so it's better to use a color name. Here I'll set the initial value to sky blue. By default, this variable behaves just like a normal CSS variable, meaning the box element will take the most recent value of BG color. But if we don't want it to inherit new values, we can set inherits false, which keeps it locked to the original default value. Now imagine this variable is supposed to store a color. If someone changes it to something like 50 pixels, it becomes invalid for the background color property and breaks the style. To prevent that, we can restrict the type of value it accepts. Instead of using asterisk, we can define it as color. This makes sure only valid color values are allowed. If someone tries to use anything else, the system will reject it and keep the original default value. But if the new value is valid, it updates correctly. That's how the at property rule makes CSS variables safer and more reliable. Now you can change the initial value, and the element will accept the new value. You can also use the RGBA color format, and it will work perfectly without any errors. Now I'll show you a cool border animation made with it property. It uses a variable with the syntax set to angle, an initial value of zero degrees, and inherits set to false. I use this angle variable inside the keyframes animation, and it works great, even on responsive layouts. To learn how it's done, check out our CSS border animation video.